government of a nation. Chile, its southern half devastated day after day by volcanic eruptions and earth shocks of cataclysmic force which spread havoc around the entire rim of the Pacific Ocean. Thousands are dead, one quarter of the nation, over two million, homeless, and still the upheavals continue. Whole cities have been reduced to shambles. In the ruins, life goes on. Aid is pouring in, including two complete United States Army field hospitals. In a year marked by tragic earthquakes, Chile's has been felt over the greatest area by far, one of the worst earthquakes of modern times. Mountainous tidal waves triggered by the Chilean earth shocks raced across the Pacific at 500 miles an hour. Every Pacific island felt their colossal forces. On Hawaii, 6,000 miles distant, 60 are dead or missing, and damage in the Hilo area may reach $60 million. Across the vast expanse of ocean, the tidal wave took a heavy toll. Along the California coast, it swept in at an angle, ripping coastal installations and causing heavy damages. Japan and Okinawa felt the impact cruelly. Their dead or missing number in the hundreds, property damage in the hundreds of millions. 1960 emerges as the most disastrous earthquake year of modern times, with more than 18,000 lives lost and the year not halfway out. America's new Sentry satellite is ready for launching at Cape Canaveral. Final adjustments are made on the Atlas carrier and its payload, the 5,000-pound Experimental Midas. This missile defense alarm system will circle the Earth some 300 miles out, its heavyweight instrument package waiting to detect the heat trails of missile engines. Launching of the Midas coincides with the United Nations debate over the U-2 spy plane incident. The Sentry satellite bolsters Ike's open skies proposal to ease world tensions. 